ready to launch in three, two, one. When you arrive at your destination, please focus and have fun. Welcome to your future. To learn, just press play. your pencil and scissors, but you can put them aside for now. It's time to kick back and relax with a cup of hot chocolate and the emoji friends. You will see emoji friend letter combinations. Say the sound those letters make and then blow on the hot chocolate. The letters will turn into the emoji friend and I will say the sound so you can check your answer. Get ready. Oi. Ew. Ing. Uh. Our focus sound is uh. Help roll the dice. Add the two numbers together. Then we will say our focus sound uh. that many times. Let's do this. Six plus five equals eleven. Say the focus sound uh, 11 times. It's secret code o'clock. Above the number 54, write the letter Y. Above the number 72, write the letter O. We are going to relax like we're floating on a cloud. I am going to say a word and I want you to say the sounds in the word. Listen carefully for our focus sound uh. and pay careful attention to how your mouth moves when you say the sounds. Ready? Shook. Ready? Sh. Uh. K. Shook. Hood. Ready? H. Uh. D, hood, cookie, ready, k, uh, k, e, cookie, book, ready, b, uh, k, book, soot, ready, s, uh, t, soot, took, ready, t, uh, k, took, Wood, ready? Wood, wood, 
put. Ready? P, uh, t, put. Brook. Ready? B, r, uh, k, brook. Push. Ready? P, uh, sh, push. Cook off. Ready? K, uh, Cook off. For this part of the mission, you will need your scissors. I want you to cut out the emoji friend in the top corner of your paper. Then, press play when you're finished. Press pause now. We are here in a tunnel. At the end of the tunnel are four secure vaults. You have to say the sounds in the word to unlock each vault. Then you must figure out if the focus sound uh. is locked in vault number one, two, three, or four. On your paper, you will put your emoji friend on the number where you think the sound will be. We will unlock and open the vaults together to see if you're correct. Get ready. Say the sounds and put your emoji friend where you think the sound uh is in good. Okay, let's check. Say the sounds in good. Ready? G, uh, d. If you said vault number two, you are correct. Say the sounds and put your emoji friend where you think the sound uh is in cook. Let's find out if you're right. Say the sounds in cook. Ready? K, uh, k. If you said vault number two, you are amazing. Okay, where do you think the uh is in stood? Let's see if you're right. Say the sounds in stood. Ready? St uh d. If you said vault number three, you found it. Say the sounds and put your emoji friend where you think the uh is in push. Let's check it out. Say the sounds in push. Ready? Uh, sh. If you said vault number two, you got it. Where's the uh in wood? Let's say the sounds in wood. Ready? W, uh, d. If you said vault number two, you are amazing! This time, let's find the uh in sugar. Okay, let's say the sounds and find out. Ready? Sh, uh, g, er. If you said vault number two, you really know your stuff. Where do you think the uh is in foot. Let's say the sounds. Ready? Uh, if you said vault number two, you got it. Where do you think the uh is in crook? Let's say the sounds and find out. K -r -uh. If you said vault number three, you are a winner. It's secret code o'clock. Above the number 95, write the letter U. Above the number eight, write the letter R. Before we write our words with the focus sound, uh. I want to teach you a secret. Come a little closer. 
a little closer. Oh, too close. I want to introduce you to the spy hand. While your one hand is writing, your other hand should be close by, watching what your writing hand is doing. We call this the spy hand. And always remember, we never start from the bottom. We never start from the bottom. We never start from the bottom. The spy hand will be watching. Remember to use your spy hand in the next part of the mission when you write words with the focus sound uh. Point to the star, sound out and write the word look. Can you look for the cat? Look. In this word, OO makes the sound uh. Write look and press play when you're finished. The sounds in look are l, uh, k. You spell look, L O O K. Look. Point to the hexagon. Sound out and write the word put. Put the clothes in the basket. Put. In this word, the letter U makes the sound uh. Write the word and press play when you're finished. The sounds in put are p, uh, t. You spell put, p, u, t, put. Point to the oval. Sound out and write the word would. Would you like to pick your reward? Would. In this word, O-U-L makes the sound uh. Write the word would and press play when you're ready. The sounds in would are w, uh, d. You spell would, W-O-U-L-D, would. Point to the circle. Sound out and write the word booklet. Get out your booklet. Booklet. In this word, OO makes the sound uh. Write the word booklet and press play when you're finished. The sounds in booklet are b, uh, k, l, e, t. You spell booklet b, o, o, k, l, e, T. Booklet. It's secret code o'clock. Above the number 33, write the letter S. Above the number 60, write the letter E. When you're writing or reading and you don't know a sound, you can ask an adult. Sometimes there is a rule for it and sometimes you just have to memorize it. Let's practice asking for help when we are writing or reading and we are unsure of a sound. Let's pretend you are at a school reading a book and you come across this word. You know that OO can make the sound uh, but it also makes the sound oo. How do you know which to use? You can try both, but if you still aren't sure, you can ask your teacher. Your teacher might say, great question. In this word, OO makes the sound uh. Can you figure out the word now? It's the word wooden. Let's pretend you are at home writing a letter to your friend. You are writing the word could, but you aren't sure if it is OO O-U-L or U. Instead of saying, how do you spell could? You can say, what letters make the sound uh in could? Do you know what the adult will say? It is O-U-L in the word could. Let's pretend you're at school and beginning your activity page. 
you are reading and come across this word. You try sounding it out with oo. That doesn't make sense. Then you try sounding it out with uh. That doesn't make sense either. You could ask a friend or teacher what sound does oo make in this word. Do you know what they will say? It makes the sound uh. Can you figure out this word? It's the word flood. That word has gone bananas and doesn't follow the typical patterns. Now I will model writing a sentence for you. I may even have to ask the teacher for help if I come across a sound that I'm unsure of. Okay, all you need today is your space man and your pencil. I'm using a marker so you can see it, but you always wanna use a pencil. Today we're writing a sentence using a word with our focus sound, uh. I'm going to choose the word look and booklet to be in my sentence. I will write look in the booklet to find the code. Let's count the words, ready? Look in the booklet to find the code. Eight words and my first word is look but I need to make the L a capital because it's the beginning and the leader of our sentence. L, uh, and we already know it's an O, O, so I don't need to ask the teacher. L, O, O, K. Space man, I wrote a word. Move me over, whoopsies, and go back and read it. Look in. Say the sounds in in. Ready? I, n. Spaceman, I wrote a word. Move me over and go back and read it. Look in the. The. T. H. E. Stick your tongue out. What's the word? The. Spaceman, I wrote a word. Move me over and go back and read it. Look in the booklet. Booklet, okay, it is up here, b, uh, we know it's an o, o, b, u, k, booklet, l, at. Sometimes I like to break it up in syllables. Spaceman, I wrote a word. Move me over and go back and read it. Look in the booklet, two. Hmm, two is only two letters, so I can fit it there. T-O-2, T-O-2. Spaceman, I wrote a word. Move me over and go back and read it. Look in the booklet to find. Another sight word. Find, 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 find. F-I-N-D. Find, 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 find. F-I-N-D. If you sounded it out, F-I-N-D. All the sounds make sense, only it's I's long sound instead of it's short sound. Spaceman, I wrote a word. Move me over and go back and read it. Look in the booklet to find the. T, H, E, stick your tongue out, what's the word? The. Spaceman, I wrote a word. Move me over and go back and read it. Look in the booklet to find the code. Say the sounds in code, ready? K, O, D. And I noticed that the O says its name. Excuse me, teacher, is there a powerful E in the word code to make the O say its name? Great question, student. Yes, there is. Awesome. K, O, D. Powerful E. Spaceman, I wrote a word. Move me over and go back and read it. Look in the booklet to find the code. And I need my punctuation mark, period. My sentence makes sense. I'm going to read it one more time. Look in the booklet to find the code. Yes, it does. My sentence starts with a capital letter. There's my capital L. My sentence has spaces, beautiful spaces, thanks to our spaceman. And my sentence ends with a punctuation mark. 
period. Thanks for helping everybody. Okay, everyone. We wrote a sentence together. Now it's time for you to write a sentence on your own. I usually make a checklist so I can remember what I need to get at the grocery store. This is your sentence checklist. My sentence makes sense, starts with a capital letter, has spaces, ends with a punctuation mark. Whenever I go to the grocery store, I check off the items as I get them. When I am finished with all the items on my list, I double check my list to make sure I have them all. This is exactly what I want you to do. Check off each item as you do it. Then, at the end, double check your list. Go through all the items you checked off and make sure you did all of them. Don't forget to include our focus sound. Uh. Good luck. When you're writing your sentence, don't forget to include at least one word with the sound uh. Give yourself a check mark if your sentence makes sense, starts with a capital letter, has spaces in between your words, and ends with a punctuation mark. It's secret code o'clock. Above the number 12, write the letter L. Above the number 59, write the letter F. If you are working in a group, take turns reading your sentences to each other. Give your friends a compliment about their sentence. A compliment is saying something that they did well, like, I love how you remembered the capital at the beginning of your sentence. Or, great use of that adjective. Or, your writing is beautiful. It's so nice and neat. If you're working by yourself, give yourself a compliment. We always want to show compassion and kindness by staying positive. Well, that's it for our mission. Great job, everybody. Signing off until next time.